Right, welcome back. Now you learned about the empowering questions. What, how, where, who. And also you heard about this power training question, why. In general, the why question is training power. It's sucking power out of you. And all the other fours are empowering you. And that is because there is a huge difference between the what, how, where, and who and the why. The why question most of the time is focused on the past. It's trying to find out what's going on in the past and it's not helping you with any solution for the future because most of the time as we heard before in the why chapter people even don't know why they did it. So it's all like well yesterday, before yesterday, the day before that day, the, the week before that day, months, it, it doesn't matter. So if you want to go ahead, if you want to stay happy, if you want to be successful, we need to focus on the future. And in the future, it may not be necessarily relevant why it happened in the past. Just make sure you learn what happened in the past and how did that happen. And then see that you can change in the future your behavior, your procedure, or your protocols, whatever it is, from the learned mistakes in the past. Just change something. But the question how and what is focused toward the future, focused toward a solution, not so much focused to why did you do that and focused to blame somebody because he did it. He may not know why he did it, but in understanding what he did and how he did it, this is focusing towards the future and this is focusing towards a solution. So anytime you are in a situation you want to change. Focus on the future and the help. The best help you can get is from the questions. What can I do? How can I do it? Where do I need to go to? And who do I need to talk to? Where can I find resources? Who can help me in the next step? It's irrelevant to focus on the past. And the difference is so huge because there is one thing which always is true. The past does not necessarily equal the future. What had happened in the past does not necessarily have any meaning in the future and it does not have to be repeated as it had been done in the past. This is where the empowering question help you. How can I improve the situation? What can I do to get better and better and better? Where can I move to? Where can I find an answer? And who can I talk to? Where can I find a resource? And what can I do about it? How can I make that thing work? So whenever you're in a situation you want to change, forget about the why question. Focus on the future, focus on the solution. Why is targeting in the past? This is the big difference between empowering and disempowering questions. And whenever you're in a situation you're not sure about it, ask yourself, is this question, is this thought I'm going to have right now focusing on the future, on the solution, or is it rather focusing on the past? and does not help me to advance. This is it. Very simple, but a lot of times the simple things are the most effective, as it is with empowering question. Look forward, look into the future, make sure you ask questions. What can you do and how can you make it to get to a solution? You wonder what to do if you approached by somebody who is asking weakening questions, power sucking questions. And yes, these power-sucking questions are all around us all day long. And a lot of people are so used to ask weakening questions, power training questions. And the only answer I have is just rephrase the question. First of all, you need to develop a sensitivity against the power-sucking questions, weakening questions. You just go and detect them. And then you just stop answering them. You don't let the other person allowed to ask them instead you answer with a rephrased question if somebody asks you why did you call this person again he already told you that he's not buying from us well in that case there is no real answer on the why and it doesn't bring any benefit if you answer the why just ask the what if question in return say what if he changed his mind how can we find out that he changed his mind. You know, we do have a new feature in the product and how can I not call him and tell him? 
What can I do to make him happy? These are the questions I ask myself rather than why did I call him? So rephrase, when the why question comes or if it comes from yourself, stop it right away and rephrase. Why do we go there? Well, what if we don't go there? How can we go there and achieve another goal at the same time? How can we combine two things? What can we do to achieve this and this goal at the same time? Even I know you don't understand why we go there, but I never ask the question why I do go there. I always ask the question, where can I go to achieve my goal? What can I do at this place? What can I do to achieve two goals at the same time? And because of that question, I came up with the idea to go this place, which eventually explains the why. So it's always rephrasing. It's always like thinking different out of the box to get into a solution. However, sometimes the why question has its legitimacy too. Why do we go there? Because I want to buy some food. That's all, all okay. If it is not focused toward the past, then it's okay. Most of the time, it's like focused in the past. Like, why did you do that? Well, I ask myself the question, what can I do to get there? I ask myself the question, how can we achieve this goal? And therefore, I needed to do that because it helps me achieving the next level. It gets me to the next level. So you see, it's like navigating around. But if you detect this sensibility against the why question, you will automatically, if you achieve the level of mastery, you will automatically not answer any why question, any past focused why question, weakening question. You always will answer with a next question and try to use what, how, where, and who. And maybe you use my little help phrase, I was wondering. Well, I was wondering if you like the course so far, if it gets you at least some idea how you can empower yourself right away in using powerful questions. And I'm pretty sure that the answer is yes. You will say, yes, I have found some ideas. I know now how I can improve my life right away with empowering questions. But hold on, bear with me. We still have some uh, territory to cover. There are some stuff coming up which also will prove very helpful in making you more happy and more successful. So stay with me. See you in a little